I think that's also a great question when you think about symptom uh, recall. Uh, it's very difficult for patients to know how they're doing because sometimes the symptoms pretty catastrophic like a food impaction. And I'm always amazed how well patients compensate for this. And they start to realize, well, if I eat softer foods, if I chew my food really well, if I drink a lot of liquid or water with my meals, I won't get a food impaction. So there is a disconnect between what the esophagus looks like, the eosinophil count sometimes, and how the patient is presenting in terms of symptoms. So in my mind, when you're dealing with symptoms, you really have to kind of stress the patient and really ask them, could you eat this? You have to look at what they're avoiding. So I think there, there's a much more vast array of questions that need to be answered outside of just how are you feeling, did you have any food impactions. So, so there is a disconnect.